Hello friends, this is Smita and we will discuss on tally backup and restore part in this session. Why we need to take tally backup, how to take tally backup and how to restore the data. This we will look in this session. First of all, why tally is backup is important. As we know, tally data is always important for the business and its protection is of immense importance. Data on the computer get exposed to different types of threats, software corruption, hard disk failure, data gets corrupted. There are many more reasons that makes the data loss. Such data loss cannot be recovered. So better to protect this data by taking its backup. This can cause huge loss. If the data get uh, corrupted, the it can cause huge loss to the company. So the back tally backup is of immense importance. It is always recommended to take tally backup of your data to safeguard against the loss of data. So let's start with tally backup. How to take tally backup? There are four steps. In these four steps, we will take backup. First of all, you have to open the data menu. Either press Alt Y from your keyboard and select the backup option. Then give the destination for backup. Then company that needs to be backup to be selected and accept the screen for complete the backup. So let's start with backup part. This is our tally and our company is Royal Garments Private Limited. If I want to take backup of this file, what I have to do first of all, go to data menu. It is on the top side. Or you can press Y, Alt Y from your keyboard. So Alt Y, there are two options available, backup and restore. First we will take backup and then we will restore the same. So backup, restore. Before learning this thing, we have to configure our data path. We can configure the data path for backup and restore. So open this data path. It allows to configure data path for company and backup path. So which companies to be listed for backup is available in this path. So company data path will be this one. Enter, you can press enter to change the data. At present, I want to take backup of the companies which are stored in tally prime data folder, which is in C drive. So, okay, if you want to change, you can just select from drive and change the folder. So at present, I want to take backup of files. Those are in C drive users, public, tally prime data folder. I have these four companies. Press enter. Next, company backup path where you want to take backup. This is the destination where the backup file will get restored, will get stored so press enter you can change the backup data path so select from drive where you want c d e wherever so as we have as in this computer i have c die D drive and E drive. If pen drive is attached, pen drive is also listed in the options available. So where you want to take backup, select the drive. So I want to take a backup in D drive, enter, enter. So this is what we have configured. Now press control A to accept all. Again, click on Alt Y data backup. Enter. See, there are two screens. In the left hand side, we see select companies for backup option, and right hand side, we have the options for companies listed for backup. Before selecting this, just press backspace backup destination. As we have already said, this 
D drive for backup destination, it is showing the D drive over here. If you want to change from the D, uh, destination path, you can change it from here also. So to the right hand side, you can select from drive where you want. Suppose I want it in D drive, select, enter, enter. Now companies to be listed for backup. So to the right hand side, I have a list of companies. Those are in C drive, users, public, tally prime data. I have these four companies with me and my company, Royal Garments, is available for backup. So Royal Garments Private Limited, the company number is 10,000. I'm selecting this company, press enter. Another company, if you want to take backup, select the same. Otherwise, select end of list and, and accept. Yes. So the backup is available on D drive. Let's check. Open the file explorer, open D drive and see. Here is the file, which is backup file. The company's backup is always stored in the name tbk900 underscore and the number of the company. This is our backup file. This is how we can store the backup of the file. Next, then how to take rest how to restore the company data. Suppose you have taken the backup and the original data get lost or you have taken the backup in your pen drive and you want to open the same file the same company to in another PC. So in that case, you have this backup file and we will restore, open the file in Tally. So how to do it? First, again, go to Alt-Y data menu and select restore, select, set the restore path, select the companies to get restored and press enter key. It's very easy. Alt-Y. Go to restore option, enter. Again, press backspace, restore destination where you want to restore. So you will select the day, uh, path where you want to restore the same. Suppose I want to restore the data in E drive. So I will select from drive, E drive, enter, enter. Now it is asking for the files to be restored. So I have taken only back uh, backup of only one file, which is uh, available over here, which is in D drive. So select the file, enter. If you have list other files available, select them or select the end of the list, enter, enter. Well, now we will open the same file, which is available in E drive. First of all, we will close this file. Control F3 or through company menu, shut option. I am closing this company. And now we will select it from drive. Enter. Where it is, we have taken a restore. We have restored the file in E drive. See, here is the file. Royal Garments Private Limited. Enter. The file is available. This is another copy of the file. Okay, so this is how we can back up and restore the tally data. Another way to take backup and restore the data is just go to Explorer, File Explorer, copy the company's directory number and paste it in desired location. I will show you. Suppose uh, we have this data. We have these four files in C drive. Okay. Suppose I want to take backup of this file. I, I want to take a copy of this file. So I will just select the file, right click, copy, and where we want. Suppose I want it in E drive. So E drive. And just I will right click and paste it. 
I have this copy of 10,002 in E drive. Now we will open the same file. Alt K, select, select from drive, go to E drive, and we have this 10,002 Tata Consultancy Private Limited open. So this is how we can take backup and restore of data file. So it is always important to take backup on a regular basis. Rather, we can take backup at the end of every day or at the end of every week. In that case, your data will be safe and will have you can take you can restore as and when required. Well, as we have taken the backup of the file and if you go for backup every day for the same file, it will just ask for whether you want to uh, take another, um, create another file or just you need to uh, overwrite the older one. So you can have both the options. You go for the way you want and either you can save, another, the, uh, you can take the backup to another location another file name or you can overwrite the same. But taking backup is always important. Take backup on regular basis and save your company's important data from getting it correct. Thank you.